Welcome, everyone. It is a pleasure to have you here for the second annual Minister of Agriculture Awards of Excellence. And what a great day for this event because it's yucky, and cold, and raining outdoors. So I'm happy that you're not sacrificing an afternoon of sunshine to be here in front of your screens today. I'm Janice Lutz, and I will be your host, along with the Honorable Keith Caldwell, for today's awards presentations. But before we get to them, and before I introduce the minister, I'd like to go over a few housekeeping notes and share some information from our sponsors. Uh, I have a few things I want to talk about, so all guests are asked to have their videos and audio turned off during the webinar. And if you'd like to congratulate a winner, uh, please use the Q&A or chat feature at the bottom of your screen. The series of webinars for the Minister's uh, events this year are sponsored by Farm Credit Corporation and the Nova Scotia Farm Loan Board. They have sent along some videos for us to watch. So please give them your attention. Who is FCC? Well, our About Us is really about you, the goals you want to reach, and the dreams you have. You're invested in your business, and as the only lender 100% invested in Canadian agriculture and food, so are we. Because a dream is just the start. It also needs a lender who understands where your dreams come from, where they can go, and what it takes to get there. If you want to start, grow, or transform your agriculture or food business, we can help. Because we're not just your lender. We're your champion, your catalyst, and we're behind you every step of the way. We are FCC. Dream. Grow. Thrive. Thank you, FCC. And now from this Farm Loan Board. My name is Alphonse Vermeulen. My wife and I farm 50 dairy cows on a robot in Urbania, Nova Scotia. We, we actually got married in 2014 and bought the farm in 2014. And originally we owned a tie stall in Princeport. Um, and it was just January of 2020 that we moved to this site in Urbania. Uh, we've been working with the Farm Loan Board since the beginning, when we first bought the farm in Princeport. The Farm Loan Board was uh, more flexible with the challenges we were facing trying to enter the industry. They helped us actually to do this site switch. Um, they provided us with a loan that helped us to retrofit the barn that we're standing in right now, that was a tremendous, tremendous help. It was a big step for us to move from the tie stall to the milking facility that we have here. So with the loan board, uh, we do, we're, we're character lenders and we do like to develop relationships with our clients. Um, and what that means is through the years, we get to see how people are progressing and how they're growing. Uh, we get to see their weaknesses as well as their strengths. Uh, we do look at, uh, we, we review their financials uh, yearly and we'd like to see where we can uh, make that better and make them stronger. So we're really a complement to the other lending options. You know, we, we say that we don't compete with banks or, or other lending agencies. What we really want to do is provide um, a solution for farmers that is different than what's being offered commercially really diving down on the business plan, working with them to make sure that they have a partnership um, with other programs or granting opportunities um, is really what we're focused on. They understood a lot of things that even we didn't understand and, and uh, it really helped us navigate some, some tough times when you're trying to get into the industry. And thank you to the Farm Loan Board. Uh, the awards of excellence sponsors are Taste of Nova Scotia, Saltscapes, and Sobeys. And thank you very much for your support for these awards. Saltscapes and Taste have shared videos for us, and I'll play them now. Greetings, dear friends. On behalf of Saltscapes and our parent company, Advocate Media, 
We are proud that Saltscapes is celebrating 20 years of Canada's East Coast trusted by local paid circulation publication, now reaching more than 540,000 readers in print and digital form, with each bi-monthly issue and thousands more high-yield engaged consumers with each carefully curated by local consumer event. With each issue of Saltscapes, your Made Right Here stories are specifically created to showcase our immense regional pride in our farmers, producers, and processors, and strengthen Atlantic Canadian consumers' understanding about food security and how to shop smartly for their food and beverage. Our small economy has been scarred by the recent unprecedented events. So we are building new opportunities in the Saltscapes family, including a performance-driven virtual event under Saltscapes Expo. We look forward to extending a hand up to our East Coast neighbours and to the people and places where the retail and visitor economy has a very long road to full recovery. Our humble heartfelt thanks to you for joining us in celebrating Canada's glorious East Coast together in 2021. We look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you to Saltscapes and Taste and Sobeys for their support of these awards. Taste has been kind enough to donate a lovely gift basket of local products for each of our awards recipients that they will receive along with their certificate from the minister. Just so you know, we're, we're passing out or we're uh, awarding 13 awards today and I'll give you a minute to have a look at them. Maybe there are some that spark your interest and you would like to strive to be a recipient of one day. And now I would like to introduce the Honorable Keith Colwell, Nova Scotia's Minister of Agriculture, to say a few words of welcome. Uh, thank you very much. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's a pleasure to be here today. Uh, it's our second annual Minister's Awards for Excellence. It's something I've wanted to do since I was a minister and last year we finally put it in place. Uh, agriculture in the province of Nova Scotia is the third biggest exporter in the province and not many people know that. Uh, fisheries is number one, Michelin tires number two, and agriculture is number three. That's quite a, quite a spot to be, considering when we look how smaller industry is in comparison to uh, the prairies that have huge farms and all kinds of opportunities that we don't have. And that was the tremendous credit for the people in the industry. And some of those people we're going to recognize today. But every, everyone I talk to in the industry is a wonderful story. And there's always issues along the way, but people are so resilient in the province and the farmers are no exception to that. The great work they do, new innovative ideas and approaches to things. And I started speaking uh, a couple of years ago about food security, never dreaming that COVID or anything like that would come along. But now it's really highlighted that necessity to buy local, to look after purchasing things locally, and indeed helping our rural economy and all of, our, all of us in the whole province, whether you live in the county, rural areas, or in the city. A, food, a secure food supply locally grown is a critical force. As we move that forward and work with individuals to make that happen, it's, it's wonderful to see the progress we're making in that regard. I can't say enough positive about the industry. I've been minister now for eight years, and it's been a, a thrill for me to do this job. And some days, a lot of headaches, a lot of fun, like just like running a farm, but it's really worth it. And again, it's, I'm excited to uh, help make these presentations today. I know my staff are looking at the award categories. It was really difficult to choose the people that we make awards to because there's so many incredible people in the industry in this province that it's uh, everybody at war, uh, deserves an award, but that, unfortunately, that's not the way it works. So I want to thank Janice today for being a MC. I don't know if we conned her into it or what happened, but we managed to get her. And we're very, very happy about that. 
So with those few words, I'll turn it back over to you, Janice, and we'll see how we make out. Thank you, Minister Colwell. Now on to the awards. The first award this year is for Employer of the Year. Progressive employers in agriculture are the backbone of a strong and successful agricultural industry. This award recognizes an employer that has fostered outstanding workplace culture and environment for their employees. This year's recipients is the Newcomb family of Cornwallis Farms in Fort Williams. At Cornwallis Farms, a passion for sustainable poultry farming has guided them to strive towards leadership in their community and in human resource development. Craig and Brian and their families have built a strong relationship with their staff by working side by side with them to create a work atmosphere that inspires employee loyalty. They involve their employees in all aspects of the farm operation and provide them with compensation and benefits that demonstrate their value to management and the overall farm operation. Congratulations to the Newcomb family for being employers of the year. And now I'd like to welcome them and ask them to turn on their cameras and join us so that Minister Colo can say a few words. How are you doing today? Wonderful. To Good, thank you. you. Um, this, this is a very special award and uh, one I know, again, as I said earlier, it's very difficult to choose the winner of these things. And your company stands out, your family stands out for the fantastic work you've done with your employees. And, and it's wonderful to see, and, you know, it's uh, to run a business is tough enough. But then to make sure you look after employees and the, one of the key assets you have in your company is so important as well. So I want to personally congratulate you for the great work you're doing and will continue to do in the industry. And as we grow Nova Scotia's economy through agriculture, um, it's exciting. So thank you so much for what you do. And it's a super pleasure to make this award to you today. Uh, thank you, Minister. And uh, we're very humbled and honored to accept this reward. Thank you. Congratulations again to the Newcombs and Geneve. The next award is the Achievement in Innovation. Every day on farm innovations in agriculture are helping to make farms more sustainable and resilient. This award recognizes a farm that has successfully adopted new technology or processes that can help to move the entire agriculture industry forward. This year's award recipients are Greg and Suzanne Garretts of Elmridge Farm in Centerville. Elmridge Farm has embraced innovative technology while providing Nova Scotia agri-tech firms with the opportunity to pilot and validate their technologies. Greg has been instrumental in providing two Nova Scotia agri-tech startups, Nexus Robotics and MyFlock with the opportunity to pilot and validate their technology at his farm while opening the door to these companies to a new network of producers. Elmridge Farm is also involved in launching an innovative crop waste upcycling solution. And through Suzanne's foresight, the farm has adopted an e-commerce sales platform in response to COVID-19, which exceeded all expectations in 2020. Congratulations to Greg and Suzanne for their outstanding achievement and innovation. And now I would welcome them uh, and to ask them to turn on your camera and join us so the minister can say a few words. Hello. <laughs> Hello, great to see you both. And uh, it's been uh, a while since I've seen you with COVID, but <laughs> this, is a, this is a fantastic uh, award and an achievement. When you look at how we have to move uh, Nova Scotia forward in agriculture, the innovations that you've both been participating in, both Greg and Suzanne, it, it shows what we can do in Nova Scotia. Uh, for so many years, I've listened to people, we can't do that, we can't do that here. And behind the scenes, people are doing great things and we need to recognize that. So I wanna personally thank you for the innovation you've taken 
part in and I, I know what was just read was only a small bit of the uh, technology you're developing and the work and the value in that technology. Keep up the great work, keep innovating and keep sharing your knowledge and, and experience with others. It is making a difference and it is making a difference in Nova Scotia's economy. Every little bit counts and we truly appreciate what you're doing. Thank you personally from us, myself and from the government of Nova Scotia and from the province. Thank you very much. It's uh, it's great to be recognized, I guess, for what we're doing and we're far from done innovating. We don't plan to stop anytime soon. But I'd also like to thank you, Minister Caldwell, for helping to create the climate that allows us to, to invest in these kind of things. Thank you. Congratulations again, Greg and Suzanne. The next award is Best Ambassador of Local. Nova Scotia is renowned for the variety and quality of foods that are produced and promoted here in our province. This award recognizes an employee, a food business, association, or organization that champions in words and actions the consumption of locally produced food. This year's recipient is Kelly Marie Redcliffe of Wolfville. Kelly Marie Redcliffe has demonstrated a tremendous commitment to supporting local food through her leadership of the Wolfville Farmers Market. Having managed the Wolfville Farmers Market since its inception, she recently developed the Wolfville Farmers Market to go online sales concept. This important system has helped the market to effectively respond to online demands for local food during COVID-19. Her outstanding leadership of this project has been shared with farmers markets throughout the province. Wolfville Market To Go now offers more than 150 local products and partners with three community hubs in Canning, Berwick and Wolfville. Congratulations to Kelly Marie Redcliffe for her commitment to being an outstanding ambassador of local food. And now I'd like to welcome Kelly Marie and ask her to turn on her camera and join us. Minister. Kelly, I hope you're not having trouble getting online here, but where you're working at that, I just want to make a few comments. And uh, the work you've done at the farmer's market there is incredible. I visited uh, many years ago when I first started this and how we've evolved that organization and, and the facility. And when you visit the market, you see the young people that have great dreams and desires and you're making that possible for them. And also our farmers that have been there for many, many years selling their products and their excellent products in the marketplace. And the market itself is a pretty neat place. It's a really neat place. So it's a nice place to, to uh, visit and see all the warm welcome you get when, they, when you go there. And the technology you've adopted over the years, including the on-site uh, online sales has been incredible. It really has made a difference. And I personally want to thank you for the great work you've done and the, and the work I've done you know, with you, had the privilege of working with you a little bit to make some of those things happen. And we look forward to many great things in the future from you as you move forward and aim to this exciting area. So again, thank you from myself, from the government of Nova Scotia and the people of Nova Scotia. Keep up the great work. So much, Minister. Um, I absolutely love what I do. Um, so it's a real honor and delight to get recognition for it. Um, and yeah, I anticipate that there will be a lot more to come. We have a lot to do to support our local producers. Mm -hmm. And it's my passion and um, there's certainly lots more to do. So thank you. Thank you again, Kelly Marie. Our next award is Farmer of the Year. Successful farmers in Nova Scotia are always committed to opening their door to collaboration and new partnerships. 
This award recognizes farmers who have demonstrated leadership in their sector by adopting innovation while obtaining profitability and sustainability. This year's recipients are Chris Vissers and Bert Harbors of Winding River Farms in Stewiak. At Winding River Farms, Chris and Bert have steadily improved soil health while reducing their carbon footprint. As dairy producers, they have become industry leaders by participating in animal bedding project aimed at waste reduction with the Atlantic Veterinary College, LP Consulting, and Divert Nova Scotia. Winding River Farms is also a key research farm for the Atlantic Grains Council initiative. Chris and Bert work with their various environmental groups to reduce their impact on local wildlife. Their fully modernized dairy operation has recently been the recipient of an Environmental Farm Award. Congratulations to Chris and Bert for being named Farmers of the Year. And now I'd like to welcome you and ask you to turn on your cameras and join us. Well, Chris and Bert, it's a fantastic award, Farmer of the Year. And again, this is a really difficult choice, I know. And uh, you, you've really shown outstanding uh, innovation, hard work, and all the things that are needed to be Farmer of the Year. Farmers of the Year, not Farmer of the Year. And it's with great pleasure that, that I make this presentation with uh, to you and I should have said this earlier, but I wish it all could be in person. Hopefully next year it will be in person and online at the same time, which would be very exciting. So my sincere congratulations to both of you and your whole team on the farm, because the farm is a whole team. And on behalf of myself and the province of Nova Scotia and the government of Nova Scotia, all the best and every success in the future. Thank you very much, Minister. Um, certainly is a, a team effort here at Winding River Farms. Um, we want to share this award, especially with uh, all our employees and, uh, and all the consultants and uh, experts in the dairy field that work with us. Um, certainly not, a, a, not an easy uh, industry to be in uh, at the moment, um, but uh, we're very optimistic about the future. So uh, thank you again very much. Thank you. Thanks again and congratulations, Chris and Bert. The next award is for market development and export. Nova Scotia is known worldwide for the uniqueness and quality of its export products. This award recognizes a farm or food business that has demonstrated success in developing new markets for their products outside of Nova Scotia. This year's recipients are Ted Grant and Hans-Peter Stutz, the co-founders of Vivo. Through their pioneering work in Nova Scotia's culinary and wine sectors, Ted Grant and Hans-Peter Stutz were able to recognize the opportunity to work with Nova Scotian farmers to create a unique flavored sparkling water with all natural ingredients. Vivo is the first sparkling beverage in North America to earn Clean Label Project certification, which recognizes truth and transparency in food and consumer product labeling. Vivo won the inaugural Wild Blueberry Challenge from the Wild Blueberry Producers Association of Nova Scotia in 2019 and is now sold in more than 2,000 stores nationally. The company has expanded its international marketing base to five countries. Congratulations to Ted and Hans Peter for Avivo for their outstanding commitment to market and export development. And now I'd like to welcome them and ask them to turn on their cameras and join us. Minister? Well, this is an exciting award. I can remember uh, Hans Peter when, when we talked about this new product you had and uh, uh, 
no, I had no idea that it would become so successful, but I'm so happy that it has. And a lot of credit to you and to Ted for the great work you've done on this product and having the foresight to start international marketing early with the product and also looking after the local uh, market. This product, although it's market development with that, there's a tremendous amount of local products you buy to put into this product as well. So it's not only just the marketing of product that you manufacture and, and produce, but also makes a huge impact on our farmers in the province. So it's with great pleasure that the, I award you this uh, presentation. And again, on behalf of myself and the government of Nova Scotia and the people of Nova Scotia, thank you. Thank you for the prosperity you're bringing to the province with this great product and products I know you will continue in the future. Thank you again. Uh, thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you for uh, the honor. Um, we really appreciate it. I'm speaking on behalf today of Hans Peter um, and myself. Hans Peter unfortunately couldn't be here with us today, but I want to start by thanking you, Minister, um, for the efforts that you put in on a daily basis to enable projects like this to happen. So thank you very much. Um, I also want to take the opportunity to thank uh, many of your colleagues, and I, I won't say them all, but Lori Kittleson, who, who kicked this off with us, uh, Loretta Robichaud, Jennifer Thompson, Aaron Sears, uh, Nancy Tregano from Perennia, just superstars, amazing people. And, you know, to, I, I, I want to leave with one thought, and it's to build something from scratch is incredibly difficult. To build something during a pandemic is even harder. Um, sorry, my phone is just going off. Perfect timing, right? Uh, and uh, but to um, to the, what what keeps us going, and I want to share this with everybody, uh, particularly the farmers of Nova Scotia, is when your product is listed in Ontario and even further west, and you hear from Atlantic Canadians. Wow, I can't believe I can get a taste in Nova Scotia in my province. And grocery managers celebrate us as, oh my gosh, I grew up in Nova Scotia. I'm living out in, here in Alberta and I haven't had a taste in Nova Scotia in consumer packaged goods in this grocery store for a long time. So thank you so much for, for this honor. We share this with everybody, um, including the department and the people of the province. Um, and I wanna give one last shout out to the incredible work that Emily Haynes of Taste in Nova Scotia does. And my dear friend, Linda Gorley of Saltscapes, who is an inspiration to Hans Peter and I, um, and uh, really a true champion of local. So thank you so much. Boy, I sure wish we were in person so we could all have a small taste of that vivo. <laughs> Congratulations once again. The next award is the Outstanding Commitment to Quality. Quality relates to creating a culture of excellence for the ingredients that used in creating a product and the outreach to the clients that it serves. This award recognizes a farm or business that has shown dedication and commitment to producing a consistently outstanding product. This award recipient, this year's award recipient is Iris Kedney of The Happy Farm in Bedeck, Cape Breton, who produces a unique line of skincare products using locally sourced organic ingredients. Iris Kedney's interest in creating a natural health and body care product line with pure and simple ingredients stems from a deep appreciation for sustainable agriculture and community building. Her Be Happy Farm products reflect her background as a medicinal herbalist and aromatherapist and are reasonably priced for consumers. Can't wait to get some. Iris Kedmi's goal is to provide a way for her customers to reduce and limit day-to-day -day exposure to harsh and harmful chemicals through the use of her Be Happy Farm products. Congratulations to Iris for her outstanding commitment to quality and now I welcome her and ask you to turn on your camera and join us. Iris, it's uh, wonderful to be able to present this word to you. I'm, I'm all about quality and I drive people crazy sometimes about quality, but it does, it does pay off big time, long term. And a new product of the high quality and, and a really unusual product for agriculture which is even more important. 
shows that value-added products and all these things go together to help us have, have a stable, strong economy in Nova Scotia. And adding to that econ economy with these innovations is, is fantastic. Again, thank you so much for the great work you're doing and, and the opportunities you're making for other Nova Scotians. And on behalf of myself, the government of Nova Scotia, the province of Nova Scotia, well, I want to thank you and look forward to many new products down the road. Thank you. Uh, it's an honor to receive this award today in behalf of uh, Be Happy Farm. I would like to express my gratitude first to you, Minister of Agriculture. Second, I would like to thank the Cape Breton Agriculture Department team, Jeff Hennessy and Gary Kozile, who assisted me from the get-go. The Department of Agriculture Small Farm Accelerator Program, John Murray, Robin and the other wonderful staff there. In addition, I would like to thank all of the wonderful customers that support us before and during this pandemic. Many thanks to my family and friends for their support and wish it all of us to be happy and to be healthy. Thank you. Congratulations again, Iris. Thank you. The next award is the Outstanding New Entrant. New entrants in agriculture are the next generation of innovators and sector champions. This award provides special recognition to a farmer or farm business of less than 10 years that has demonstrated the qualities of careful planning, producing quality products, and market focus in establishing their successful farm business. This year's award recipient is Samantha Haley of Maple River Farm in Upper Muscadabit. Samantha Haley decided to start a fertilizer business using manure from her llama farming operation during a global pandemic. She recognized the value of using the new product to raise awareness of agriculture and the importance of planting seeds during these difficult times. Samantha came up with her own branding and social media campaign for the manure and sourced environmentally friendly and biodegradable packaging and created value added ways to sell the manure for house plants, gardening and transplants. Her products are now selling at farmers markets throughout Nova Scotia. As a mentor to other new entrants, Samantha continues to welcome anyone interested in raising llamas to her farm, Maple River Farm. Congratulations to Samantha for being an outstanding new entrant to agriculture. And now I'd like to welcome you and ask you to turn on your camera and join us. Samantha, it's uh, wonderful to be able to present you with this uh, award and a really innovative product. I think in this time, and it shows the innovation that Nova Scotia has and the great idea of this. I know uh, my wife's an avid gardener. I'm, I'm sure when she can get her hands some, on some of your fertilizer products, she'll be buying it as well. But it, it says a lot uh, for people in the, in the business and the people that are looking at new ways to uh, grow the business, become more profitable, and also enjoy what they're doing. It appears by the picture with uh, the llamas that uh, really loved and it's it's the way it should be and it's wonderful to see someone like yourself to uh, be in a business I'm, I'm sure you love every minute of every day so on behalf of uh, myself and again the province of Nova Scotia and the government of Nova Scotia I want to congratulate you on this great award and look forward to many new products from your facility in the next uh, number of years congratulations Thank you very much. Uh, my mind is still completely blown that we actually received this award. Um, everybody thought that I was absolutely crazy when I embarked on this little <laughs> endeavor of mine. And <laughs> I guess this is kind of a, oh, hey, guess what? I guess I wasn't. Um, but thank you very much. Um, I can assure you that my llamas are all very well loved and spoiled. And if you would ever like to have a photo op with one, I'm sure they'd be more than willing. So <laughs> thank you very much. I'll take you up on that. 
Congratulations, Sam. And uh, I know that's not all that you do. A good friend of mine uh, knits winter toques with the wool from your llamas. Our next award is the Outstanding Youth Leader. Youth leaders in agriculture are making a difference in rural communities throughout the province. This award rec provides recognition to a youth leader who has demonstrated passion for the industry through outreach and advocacy and other means. This year's award recipient is Theon Carmen of Meadow Brothers Farm in Barton. Barton has demonstrated a commitment to increasing his sheep herd while bringing sustainable agriculture back to his community of Digby County. Theon's mission statement is to reclaim abandoned farmlands and place them under nutrient management plans. That's ambitious. During the early months of COVID, he employed his family and close friends and used the early spring weather as a, as a time to plow, till, and seed the fields that he purchased for reclamation. His work attracted the interest of retired farmers in his community who volunteered their tractors and time to help reclaim the fields. Theon's drive to succeed has resulted in the expansion of his farm and the creation of viable agricultural land. Congratulations, Theon, for your commitment to being an outstanding youth leader. And now I'd like to welcome you to turn on your camera and join us. All right. Well, Theon, you've accomplished what we've been trying to accomplish for a long time putting unused agricultural land back in, in use. Uh, you deserve a tremendous amount of credit for that. And you must find it very exciting. And, and the farmers uh, around you that have let their land go uh, idle uh, for all kinds of different reasons, of course, must be just thrilled to see those fields back in production again. And you must be having a ball doing it as well. It's a uh, it's wonderful to see someone like yourself that's, that sees opportunities and uh, where other people may not see the opportunities. And that's important, that's really important. We're gonna grow our economy in Nova Scotia. We need uh, young people like yourself to come up with new innovative ideas and approaches and putting more farmland in production and doing the other things you're doing in conjunction with it are critical to Nova Scotia's economy. So I want to personally thank you. I want to thank you on behalf of the government of Nova Scotia and the province of Nova Scotia. And you're the new breed of uh, farmers in, in the province. And we really need that. We need it badly. So again, congratulations. Keep up the great work. And anything we can do to help you, just give us a call. Well, thank you, Minister. Um, uh, it's been a great time um, uh, reclaiming land here and stuff. And I've gotten lots of uh, community support um, from all the local farmers here. Um, a lot of people are just looking, are just grateful that somebody's doing something with the land that they spent their whole lives working. And now, uh, well, for other, well, for reasons, they, they're not working anymore, mostly age and, uh, and just uh, don't have the equipment and time to do it anymore. Um, but, uh, but a lot of the community has been a, a great help and I'm really thankful to be recognized for this award because this it's been a lot of work doing this. It's been a lot of fun and it's great to get more uh, publicity on doing this because this is happening all over this province. It's not just in my area. Um, this, the whole, uh, there's lots of abandoned farmland here that can be used. So thank you, Minister. Thank you again. Yeah, and congratulations. And I'm just gonna take a quick minute. I'm just observing a theme here. There's uh, so many great things happening in the province and there's a lot of young people and a lot of community support. I think COVID has turned you know, a better, a different focus on the agricultural industry, but I love that some of the retired farmers are coming up and helping uh, the younger people out as well. So I'm excited to get on, but I'm recognizing more and more that it's a really exciting time to be in this industry, to be a farmer. Okay, enough said. Back to the awards. The next award is for Public Trust Ambassador or Ambassadors. Building trust in agriculture involves creating a dialogue with the public about the vital role that farms and farmers play in supporting rural economic development and the production of safe food. This award provides recognition to a farm 
that has effectively championed public trust in agriculture by engaging the public in respectful and transparent conversations about agriculture and public concerns. This year's award recipients are Jack Thompson and Rhonda McDougall of West River Holsteins in Harbour Centre near Antigonish, who have effectively championed public trust in agriculture. Each year at Open Farm Day, Jack and Rhonda host hundreds of people at West River Holsteins to provide the opportunity to, for people to see a real working dairy farm in action. Years ago, that wasn't such a big thing, but it sure is now. In 2020, when the annual summer event moved to a virtual format, West River Holsteins adapted to the realities of COVID-19 and produced a special video of their farm, offering a behind the scenes look at milking and making silage. Jack and Rhonda regularly host school tours and are always prepared to connect their farm to the public and to others in agriculture. Congratulations, Jack and Rhonda, for your commitment to being public trust ambassadors for Nova Scotia's agriculture industry. And now I'd like to welcome you and ask you to turn on your camera and join us. We got our angle right here. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Jack and Rhonda, it's wonderful to be able to present this uh, award to you. I know running a dairy farm is a full-time business and then some, and to take the time out from that to be ambassadors and put videos together and have people invited to your farm is an outstanding commitment. It's a, it's a lot of work and, you know, outside again, as I said, running your farm is a 24 hour day, seven day a week job. And it's so important that we, we celebrate the fantastic business that our, our farms are doing in Nova Scotia and let people see really what's going on. There's no understanding in the city of what happens on a farm. So I wanna personally thank you for the great job you're doing and I know you'll continue to do that and you have through the pandemic even, which is even better. As I said, when we started this uh, series of these awards today, hopefully next year we'll be live and online as well. So I think that it's gonna be a whole new uh, approach to things in life and. In the, in the world and indeed in Nova Scotia. So congratulations again on behalf of myself, the government of Nova Scotia and the province of Nova Scotia. Thanks, May, continue making the fantastic contribution you're making to our economy and the trust for farmers. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Minister. Um, we'd like to thank the uh, organizers of these, these awards and whoever nominated us for this award, it's very special. We believe uh, public trust is a team effort here on our farm. And we certainly share this award with our family and the young men and women who work with us who do a good job every day to share the story of our farm and the dairy farming in a positive way in general. Uh, increasing public trust is something we all have to be involved with. It's a shared responsibility. And although our farm is being recognized today, I know many, many other farmers and others are part of the public trust effort. So congratulations to all other award winners today. And it's great to hear their stories of success. Congratulations again. And yes, indeed. We are all responsible for public trust and being ambassadors in our own way. Our next award is Value Added Processor. Building trust in agriculture involves creating a dialogue with the public about the vital role that farms and farmers play in supporting rural economic development and the production of safe food. This award provides recognition to farm value added foods are one of the fastest growing contributors to our provincial economy. This award recognizes a food processor adding value to Nova Scotia grown products who demonstrates a commitment to quality, market focus and business growth. This year's recipient is David Giffen of Giffen Technologies and Earthly Products in Halifax. David, Jack and Jordan Giffen established Giffen Technologies for the purpose of creating health food products that can be marketed and sold globally. 
The Earthly product line supports sustainably grown, waste-free products that promote a healthy lifestyle. David has been instrumental in the birth of the Earthly line of vegan plant protein products, which are currently available in more than 20 health food stores in Nova Scotia. The company is looking, forward, looking toward the export of the value-added line internationally. David has dedicated his business to supporting local producers in Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and Prince Edward Island. He constantly strives for the best quality product and searches for innovations for his producers. Congratulations, David, for being the outstanding value-added processor of the year. And now I'd like to welcome you to join us and turn on your camera. David, it's uh, wonderful to present this uh, award to you today. And you had a lot of competition for this award. We've got a lot of really fantastic uh, uh, producers in Nova Scotia doing added value and quality. And the products you have, uh, typically, we haven't seen in agriculture before. And th this is fantastic. It's, it's a move forward. And, you know, we look at the change that's coming and how important it is to add value to product, get more value, and, and you're looking at exports. And that's something we'd be very glad to help you with when you're ready to just start exporting. There's lots of markets out there we've developed now over the last eight years, and we want, need more and more products we can put into the marketplace. So again, the, it's a fantastic job on this. Uh, it's very difficult to develop products. I know I did it myself, and to market them uh, locally and internationally is even tougher, but I, I can tell you it's, well, it's rewarding. And there's a lot of money to be made at this too, if you do it right. And I hope that uh, for sure you make a lot of money at this over time, because if in business today, you have to make money to survive and, and be able to do the new products and developments you need to do as well. So congratulations. And another young farmer we're awarding here again today. This is exciting. Yes. And uh, thank you, uh, David, for the great work you're doing. Um, personally, I wanna thank you for the, this work and. On behalf of the government of Nova Scotia, the province of Nova Scotia, the people of Nova Scotia, thank you as we help you are helping grow our economy in a very positive way. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Minister Colwell, and uh, thanks for the kind words. Um, yeah, very, very grateful to receive this award. It, it really means a lot. And uh, as you said, hemp is uh, like a, it's very new, very novel, and it's. Uh, it's, it's brand new here in Nova Scotia and we're definitely excited to, to make a go out of it. So again, yes, I'm very thankful and uh, much appreciated. Thanks. Yes, congratulations again, David. The next award is the inaugural award for women in agriculture. And we have two award winners in this category. Women leaders play a tremendous role in agriculture. They bring a collaborative and innovative focus to the sector and are advocates for change and inclusion. The new Women in Agriculture Award was created this year, 2021, to honor women leaders from all sectors and was the most popular nominee category for this year's awards. Today, we are honoring two recipients. The first recipient is Joanne Moran of Aylesford. Joanne has provided support to producers throughout the province through her leadership within Nova Scotia's agriculture community. In 1992, Joanne was hired to manage the Pollination Expansion Program, a joint federal and provincial effort to expand the beekeeping industry in Nova Scotia. In 1994, she became the secretary of the Nova Scotia Beekeepers Association, a role that she maintained for the, ne for the next 15 years. Respected by both hobbyist and professional beekeepers, Joanne played a crucial role in establishing the joint pollination committee between the Nova Scotia Beekeepers Association and the Wild Blueberry Producers Association of Nova Scotia. Critical. 
As a skilled viticulturalist and wine enthusiast, Joanne became secretary and treasurer of the Nova Scotia Grape, Growing, Grape Grower Association of Nova Scotia in the late 1990s and held that position until March of this year. She has been awarded honorary lifetime memberships to both the Grape Growers Association of Nova Scotia and the Nova Scotia Beekeepers Association. Congratulations, Joanne, on providing an outstanding example of leadership for women in agriculture. And now I'd like to welcome you and ask you to turn on your camera and join us. Well, Joanne, I'm so excited to present this award to you. The many meetings we've been in and uh, when you're representing the uh, grape growers and the great work you've done prior to that is, is phenomenal. And uh, I can tell you one thing, anyone that's listening to this, uh, Joanne is not afraid to speak up and uh, uh, be well represented and really represent the industry. Uh, she's done a phenomenal job and uh, helped move our wine industry ahead tremendously. There's no other way I can put it. And I'm so happy that we started this award this year. It's overdue. Uh, behind all these farms, with a lot of uh, women that sort of play in the background that are actually are running the farms and, and doing the great things that are happening. So it was, it was fitting that we have this award this year. So Joanne, with this with great gratitude and uh, a privilege to uh, honor you with this award this year. And I know that you'll be knocking on my door with some other things that you need done soon. <laughs> and I always enjoy our conversations and the great work and, and, the, and the wisdom that you show when we, we, we talk about things that we need to resolve. So on behalf of myself, uh, I want to congratulate you on this award and the province of Nova Scotia and the government of Nova Scotia. Thank you. And it's well deserved and long overdue. Thank you, Minister. Um, it's such an honor. Uh, agriculture has been an integral part of my life, um, whether that's been time spent in the orchard, in the apiary, in the vineyard, in the office, in the classroom, in the boardroom. Uh, it's been all consuming and I've loved every minute of it. It's provided me with incredible challenges and opportunities and it's given me a foundation to build a family of, of friends and colleagues that can never be replaced. Uh, it's given me more than I can ever give back to it, but I thank you for this recognition. Thanks again, and congratulations, Joanne. The second recipient of the Women in Agriculture Award is Rebecca Archibald of Upper Stewiak. Rebecca has championed the role of women in agriculture by being a positive role model, mentor, and community contributor. Rebecca has been a longtime 4-H member and a member of the Central Nova Holstein Club. She regularly participates in public trust activities such as Meet Your Farmer events organized by the Federation of Agriculture and Canadian Agriculture Literacy Month organized through Agriculture in the Classroom. Through her work at the Truro Agri-March, Rebecca has contributed to the success of farms and businesses throughout Nova Scotia. She is president of the Nova Scotia Young Farmers and a member of the Dalhousie Agricultural Students Union Association. Congratulations to Rebecca for providing an outstanding example of leadership for women in agriculture. And unfortunately, Rebecca can't be with us today, but was very honored to receive this award. Our next award is for lifetime achievement. Nova Scotia is richer because of the incredible contributions that farmers and industry champions have made to supporting their peers and the growth of agriculture. This award celebrates the achievement of an industry representative who has worked tirelessly and effectively to help increase the sustainability and prosperity of Nova Scotia's agriculture sector. This year's award recipient is Linda Best of Greenwich, a name 
all of us know. For decades, Linda has worked to increase the sustainability and prosperity of farms throughout the province. In the process, she has become a visionary role model, both provincially and nationally. Having grown up on a small family farm, Linda has always recognized that farming is the underpinning of economic development in rural Nova Scotia. As the founding director of FarmWorks Investment Cooperative, Linda's commitment to volunteerism has helped farmers and food and beverage entrepreneurs get their start while strengthening our province's local food system. Through the investment of Nova Scotians in their communities, FarmWorks has raised over $3 million in community economic development investment funds and granted more than 100 loans to agri-food and food and beverage startups. Congratulations, Linda, for your Lifetime Achievement Award and providing leadership within Nova Scotia's agriculture sector. Now I'd like to welcome you and ask you to turn on your camera and join us. Well, Linda, this is very, very exciting for me. You know, we've had a long history ever since you become minister. You came in and pitched the work that you were doing uh, for farmers and the other work. and. Uh, First of all, I didn't know what to think about it because I was just learning at the time, but you taught me well. And I so appreciate the work that you've done and the group that you have uh, worked with uh, to preserve land in Nova Scotia, farming land in Nova Scotia, help young people to get into farming, all of the things we desperately need in this province. One of the things that I was told first when I became minister was succession planning. Well, you were way ahead of everyone else You'd already started working in this a long time ago. And, and you can see by the awards today that most of the people are young. Um, a lot of women that are being presented today, which I think is fantastic. And, and, and the work that you've done has contributed to this. And, and the wisdom and the way you do it is very, very special as well. You know, it's, it's just continually work away and make a, a few steps at a time. And each step has a real meaning. So I want to personally thank you for the great work you've done on behalf of the, the people that you work with and the people you've helped over the time and all Nova Scotians. It, it's just wonderful to, to think of uh, an individual like yourself taking on this and, and over the years and having this happen. Again, uh, uh, congratulations, Linda, on behalf of myself and the people of Nova Scotia and the government of Nova Scotia. And I look forward to working with you on some new projects we've got in mind. So uh, thank you again. I'm here, but the camera doesn't show me. Well, we can, we can hear you and see you, Linda. Oh, okay, all right. Um, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Minister, and everyone there. I want to congratulate everybody who winner, who are winners, uh, several of whom are FarmWorks clients, and we've been so pleased to support them. Uh, Minister, you left me speechless. Uh, I had a couple words in mind, but one of one of the the comments is that this award uh, belongs. At in large measure to the farmers and food producers in Nova Scotia, because um, you are, as the minister said, the foundation of, um, of um, not just rural Nova Scotia, but of all Nova Scotia. And um, I, bear, I always bear in mind the fact that it was growing up on a farm that prepared me to be in a position where I'm able to help farmers now and it was the fact that I was a 4-H club member way back then that, uh, that sort of planted some of these seeds. And the time I spent working in, the many years that I spent working in health in um, Halifax uh, uh, enabled me to put some of these pieces together. So I am very pleased to have been able to do what I am doing. And I want to acknowledge um, the board members of uh, FarmWorks for all the great work they've done over the last 10 years. And 
it's onward and upwards. We'll, we'll keep doing our bit to help grow uh, the economy of Nova Scotia. So thank you very much. Congratulations again, Linda, and you are an example for all of us. Thank you for your work. We are closing today's awards ceremony with, I think, a very special award, the Outstanding Contribution to Agriculture Award. This is the one award that is a combination of staff recognition and industry recognition. The Outstanding Contribution to Agriculture Award recognizes team members who have worked in partnership with producers to create effective solutions in response to an industry need. This year's award recognizes the team that has conducted outstanding work in response to COVID-19. The award recipients are Rachel Shivery and Heather Hughes from the Nova Scotia Department of Agriculture, Kyla Pirick, Sarah Bone, and Dora Sari from Perennia, and Carolyn Vanden Heuvel from the Nova Scotia Federation of Agriculture for their work on the Temporary Foreign Workers Initiative. Throughout the past year, this team has worked to build an effective response to the challenges faced with bringing temporary foreign workers to Nova Scotia during COVID. Together, the team has dealt with every aspect of successfully bringing seasonal agriculture and seafood workers to Nova Scotia. As a result of these efforts, 1,430 agriculture workers and 314 seafood workers were brought to Nova Scotia in 2020, and 80 farms in Nova Scotia realized the benefit of having temporary foreign workers on farm. Today, team members are continuing to work with their Atlantic and federal colleagues in public health to ensure that workers will continue to arrive in Nova Scotia for the 2021 growing season. Congratulations to Rachel, Heather, Kyla, Doris, Sarah, and Carolyn for receiving this year's Outstanding Contribution to Agriculture Award. Now, please join us and turn on your cameras. Well, I don't know what I'm gonna say about this. Um, I would say this is a dream team, if there ever was one. Uh, I know when COVID first started, we were all in scrambling, trying to make sure our farms are even going to plant their crops. They didn't know if they're going to get workers to harvest them. And this group, group of ladies came together and really came through to the point that they're recognized across the country as leading the country in bringing temporary foreign workers in. So it's, we're the envy of the rest of the country. And I talked to the Federal Minister of Agriculture about uh, the program we had in Nova Scotia. And when she realized what uh, great a job they'd done, a lot of the new standard in agriculture and uh, temporary farm workers is based on what was done here in Nova Scotia and developed here in Nova Scotia by this wonderful group of ladies. It was a really difficult uh, task, uh, almost impossible task, and really nobody knowing exactly how we were going to get this done. So it took a lot of innovation, hard work, long hours to make it happen. At the end of the day, farmers got their workers in, no idea how much trouble this was and how much hard work it was on behalf of these individuals. And the other important thing of this is the Department of Agriculture, provincially, uh, Perennia, which is a, 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 a Crown, well, not really a Crown Corporation, a company as minister I own, and the Federation of Agriculture working so closely together in conjunction with Farm Works and with the federal government and the Health Department and the Labor Department, everybody you can imagine. This is a tremendous, tremendous undertaking. And they put it together very quickly, extremely professionally, and a job well done. And again, on, th on behalf of myself, uh, the province of Nova Scotia and the government of Nova Scotia and all farmers and fish plant owners in Nova Scotia, I wanna personally thank you. 
I guess I've been nominated by our, our, our dream team and I, and I will agree with you. We've had a great group of uh, people to work with here and we're very thankful that we were able to work together on this. Um, thank you, Minister, for all your support for this program, for our workers um, and our employers here in Nova Scotia, because of the support you put behind all of us and allowing us to do this. Um, it's much appreciated. Um, we're all very honored to be in the presence of everybody else today who's won all these wonderful awards. And we're, we, we do feel quite honored to be included in this group. Um, this work has had a lot of moving parts, as the Minister has mentioned, and lots of players involved. Um, so the one thing we really wanted to thank was all of the employers, the farm and seafood operations in the province who have had a lot of patience uh, and support for us as we work through all the kinks and um, are managing to get our workers in here safely and, and keeping our farms and seafood operations going. So we do really appreciate the recognition. Um, I think all of us feel it's part of our job and, and we're really happy to be able to do that and do our small part for the province. So thank you very much. Mm. Yeah, thanks again and congratulations to all of you. It was a, it was a bit of a gutsy move and, um, and really uh, ambitious for the minister to kind of challenge what the federal government's proposals were for handling foreign workers. And I am so grateful that minister you did that and that you have the team behind you because it has made the life of us employers and the safety of all of us and the comfort level. Well, I've told all of you girls, it's we're over the moon with it. It's worked super, super well. And I thank you all. That's it. That is the end of our award uh, presentations. Congratulations to all of the award winners. Uh, we're not gonna go yet. What I'd like everyone to do is to turn on your cameras so that the award recipients can see their audience and we can share a few final words together from the minister. Thank you again to our sponsors for the entire ministerial series of events and for these uh, awards of excellence. I'm gonna turn off this screen and we're gonna all see each other and let the minister have a few words. Well, again, I want to thank everybody for the fantastic contribution you've made to Nova Scotia. It goes well beyond farming. It, it's, it's the spirit of Nova Scotia and the fabric of the province. And it affects every inch of Nova Scotia. It doesn't matter if you live in downtown Halifax or in the most remote area in the province. It helps everybody. A healthy, secure, safe food supply is critical to all of us. And I wanna thank the whole team, all the farms in the province and everybody that makes this happen. And keep up the great work. Some days I know you get up in the morning and wonder why you're doing it. But at the end of the end of the year, hopefully when you get a small break and some farms you don't get the break, but when you get a small break, you can look back and see the contribution you've made. And I can't thank the, the industry enough and the privilege I've had and over the last eight years and hopefully well into the future of being minister. Um, before we go, I want to thank the minister very much for his continued support of our industry, the agriculture industry and the seafood industry. You have an exemplary team of people and there was a stellar cast of award recipients. And I can only imagine this is why you love your job because you've got such terrific people to work with and to work for. And we thank you for that. And it was really interesting that many of the award recipients today were not farmers. They are people using farming products. They're young, they're value added processors. And I love that the industry isn't just about farming. Is it, it is about all of the uh, spokes that are coming from the farming wheel. And uh, it's a thrilling time to be in this industry today. Uh, thank you all for joining us this afternoon. Congratulations again to all of the award recipients. I wish you a great afternoon and a very successful season. Thank you.